The most important thing, I think, is that, you know, some people think that you're, you know, you've heard the phrase losing a daughter. Well, obviously I'm not. I'm getting a son. You always hope, and it's always in the back of your mind, that someday she's going to meet the man of her dreams. You know, and as they grow, they, you know, when they're little, they want to to help you with your projects. You know, they can't wait to greet you at the door. Then they get a little older and, you know, junior high and high school starts to take over. <clears throat> and you kind of watch them start to grow and get farther away because they're leading their own life in college. And <clears throat> But they're still, it's bittersweet because this is what you bring them up for, <clears throat> to be a strong woman of faith. You know, you ask her, she'll tell you. She won't blink an eye. She does not waver in her faith one bit. And I'm so grateful that God has brought you two together. I just can't think of a better match. And I'm not sad. I'm happy. I'm crying. I know it's just, uh, but <clears throat> I'm truly thankful that you are a part of our family. I've witnessed Dylan and Allie not only fall deeper in love with each other, but grow deeper in love with Christ, both as individuals and as a couple. The foundation they have laid to build their marriage upon is the love and ministry of Jesus our Lord. As the Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 13, love endures all things. And with this truth from God, and the testimony of their lives lived in surrender and obedience to Him, we prophesy and now celebrate together that now as one flesh, Mr. and Mrs. Coyle will prosper in marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. tremendous woman of faith and I love everything about her. I love everything that Dylan is. He's a tremendous man of faith and I couldn't find someone more perfect to give my sister away to spend the rest of her life.